Hi guys and welcome back to Marathon CrossFit here. Today I would like to talk about deadlifts and how to grip the bar. So there are different variations. I go over the main ones today and keep it simple here and just explain it to you so that you know the different variations and then from there you can look them up and look at different uh, lifters, how they do it and so further and so further. So basically, um, firstly, it is either conventional or sumo deadlift. Okay, now how does that relate to the grip? Um, basically, it relates to the grip in the way that you either grip grip the barbell outside or inside your legs. Whenever you grip the barbell outside of your legs, you will be doing a conventional deadlift. Whenever you grip the barbell inside of your legs, you will be doing a sumo deadlift of some form. Now, of course, there are variations of these different deadlifts. Some people like to have their um, uh, deadlift stands a bit wider. For example, look at Brian Shaw. Uh, Brian Shaw, one of the greatest strongmen that ever has walked this earth. Um, he actually stands a bit broader than most people would on, the, on a conventional deadlift. However, he still grips the barbell outside his legs. So it's still a conventional deadlift and not a sumo. Now, if you look at lifters like Ed Cohen or Dan Green um, or um, other, um, 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 also um, um, BioLane, you know, uh, Lane Norton, um, if you look at those lifters, they lift sumo, they lift tons of weights, so they grip inside. Okay, so that is about hand positioning. Uh, in relation to the legs and relation into inside outside of the legs now the next thing that you can decide about the deadlift is what kind of grip to use on the barbell itself so you're either in sumo or conventional position and then you can either do the double overhand grip which is what most people do you can do a mixed grip okay where the dominant hand whichever is the stronger one will be the one facing towards you okay and the less dominant hand is facing away from you be careful with the mixed grip because the care of the, the mixed grip makes you stronger but also exposes you to higher risk of biceps tear because when it rolled when the barbell rolls out here it rolls in there and if you let it go here and all the weight is here under maximum tension you most likely will rip your biceps especially on a one rep max attempt so if you um you know feel uh, any kind of too much that you will struggle and that the left hand is uh, giving in quicker than the right hand please drop the weight rather than holding on it to it like a berserker because a torn biceps is not worth it basically unless uh, you're world class but most of us aren't so definitely don't do that in training um, and then the last uh, the last one that you can use is the hook grip okay so you can also do mixed variations of the hook grip but most people do the double overhand hand grip and then um, upgrade it with a hook grip once they get a bit more experienced that's what weightlifters use that's the most powerful grip you could possibly do however it's also the most painful one that you could possibly do so get used to the pain and get the gains you know no pain no gain so that's it on deadlift uh, what kinds of grips are there and which one to use i hope you enjoyed the content please like please subscribe please share it with your friends and tell them about the channel and if you have any specific questions please pop them in the comments i will get back to you as soon as i can with a personalized answer bye bye